The Amorites were a Semitic-speaking people who emerged in the Near East during the late 3rd millennium before the Common Era. Their language, known as Amorite, is classified as an early Northwest Semitic language and is preserved in proper names recorded in Akkadian texts. The Amorites were initially a nomadic or semi-nomadic group, later settling in regions such as modern-day Syria, northern Mesopotamia, and parts of the Levant. By the early 2nd millennium before the Common Era, they played a significant role in Mesopotamian history, establishing influential kingdoms, including the famous city-state of Babylon under King Hammurabi, an Amorite ruler. The Amorites are prominently featured on the Mesopotamian records, where they were initially regarded as outsiders and are often described as pastoralists. Over time, they assimilated and into urbanized cultures and contributed significantly to the region's political and cultural landscape. Archaeological evidence associated with the Amorites includes cuneiform tablets documenting legal, administrative and commercial activities, as well as architectural remnants from cities like Mari and Babylon. They built ziggurats, temples and city walls, leaving a legacy of urban development that influenced subsequent civilizations. The Amorite way of life evolved as they transitioned from pastoral nomadism to urban settlement. Initially known for their reliance on livestock and seasonal migration, they later adopted agricultural practices and established thriving trade networks. Their integration into Mesopotamian society is evident in their contributions to law, such as Hammurabi's code, one of the earliest known legal codices. The Amorites' rise to power marks a pivotal era in Near Eastern history, bridging the collapse of the Akkadian Empire and the emergence of Babylon as a dominant force. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of 16 Amorites from the city of Alalakh in Turkey and ran them for my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis. The links to purchase the 16 genomes, as well as the trade predictor tool, are in the description of the video. The most common Y lineage among the group was J2A, although J1A was also frequently found. One outlier sample carried H2 lineage and one sample carried the T lineage. The most common predicted phenotype was Mediterranean and Pomidid. There were outlier samples scoring Ethiopid as their predicted phenotype, as well as two samples scoring Indian as their phenotype. Here is a morph of the average predicted phenotype in this group of Alalakh Amorabids. The most common predicted eye color was brown, followed by dark brown, and only one sample scored hazel and only one sample scored blue eyes with amber center as their predicted eye colors. The most common predicted hair color was black, but two samples also scored dark brown, and two samples scored light brown, and one sample scored dark blonde as their predicted hair colors. The most common predicted skin color was olive, but a great minority of samples also scored light brown as their predicted skin color. One sample was predicted to have dark brown skin tone, but that is due to low coverage. No samples were predicted to have white or paler skin tone. The most common predicted hair texture among the samples was wavy, but straight hair was also very common. Curly and kinky hair was less common, but was also present in the group. Greek nose shape was more common than snub nose shape. The majority of the Amorite samples were shorter than average in height. The majority of the samples were carriers for hemoglobin E disease risk variants. The Amorites had an average predisposition to age-related macular degeneration. The Amorites had an average overall predisposition to epilepsy. The Amorites also had an average predisposition to leukemia. The Amorites had an average predisposition to myopia. The Amorites had low predisposition to a wide range of cardiovascular issues. The Amorites had a slight predisposition to warrior phenotype, meaning higher dopamine levels and lower stress resilience. The Amorites had a predisposition to intermediate due to receptor site availability which leads to intermediate propensity for no-go learning and odds of schizophrenia. Speaking of thought disorders, the Amorites had a high predisposition to bipolar 1. 
The Amorites also had a low predisposition to depression. The Amorites had an intermediate predisposition to ADHD. The Amorites had a high predisposition to autism, and none of them carried the European lactase persistence mutations. The Amorites had a predisposition to a lower level of empathy on the basis of OXTR genotypes. Regarding athleticism, the Amorites were about as athletic as the Europeans are. The Sprinter ACTN3 R577X allele was about as common among them as it is among the Europeans. The Amorites were predisposed to significantly lower odds of alcoholism. The Amorites were predisposed to significantly elevated odds of epithelial cancer on the basis of 8Q24 genotypes. The Amorites had an average predisposition to type 2 diabetes. Regarding metabolic conditions, the Amorites had an intermediate predisposition to obesity. The Amorites had a roughly average predisposition to Alzheimer's disease. The Amorites had a typical predisposition to autoimmune disease, with the majority of the samples having a low predisposition to autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. Speaking of autoimmune disease, six of the samples were hla zrb one carriers for multiple sclerosis risk. The samples as a whole had an elevated odds of rheumatoid arthritis, which is to be expected of West Eurasians. The samples as a whole seem to have a rather low predisposition to type 1 diabetes, which is a bit surprising as this condition is common in West Eurasians and Middle Eastern people. The majority of the samples had low red blood cell count and none of the samples had hemochromatosis. The amorites were predisposed to an average level of LDL cholesterol. They were also predisposed to high odds of syncope. The most common blood types among the amorites were O and A, and in fact, among the 16 samples I gathered, these were the only blood types observed. There were no samples with predicted blood types B or AB among the samples gathered. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and share if you enjoyed the video. Also check the description for useful links. Goodbye.